Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Uh, today, we're going to go cut right to the chase and do some exercises we've done before. Going to make some variations to incorporate some of the fun stuff we've been doing lately. And there'll be uh, the foundation exercises that we, we did and we've done several times in this class, but we're going to uh, vary them slightly so that we can pull in some of the stuff we're getting, particularly uh, regarding the, uh, the dragon energy, the dragon movements and be able to uh, feel the energy that comes with that. So uh, why don't you stand up and we'll uh, get right to it. Okay, let's start off, get our three pillars set. Feel the balls of your feet. Feel your weight settling over the balls of your feet. Reach through the crown of your head and open up your jade pillow gate. Breathe and take a few deep breaths and really sink into your feet. Really feel that. Feel the contact with the earth. Feel through your feet and into the earth. Extend your awareness down through the feet. Feel the balls of your feet because we want to start off by cranking up the chi here, getting some yang chi going. Tuck in the chin, uh, helping to open the jade pillow gate, lengthen the neck, lengthen the spine. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop. Push away from the earth and spiral down and using your, your quad, releasing your quad, but also keep in mind your, your dragon tail. You imagine that long tail coming out from your coccyx and as you turn, you're swinging that tail on, you're reaching with the tail to energize that. So notice how I kind of slid that into the three pillars here. So uh, we're kind of including that from our, our recent adventures into the, the dragon world. And so we're including that. Point with your index fingers and feel the energetic coherence throughout your whole body. And that's a further homage to the dragon. Feel your fingertips. Feel the claws there. Spread the fingers. The hands are, are rounded. Fingers are spread, but not tight. They're relaxed. Reach with your elbows. So your arms are slightly rounded. Your arms aren't collapsed, but they're not, uh, you know, they're, there's no tension there. You're not pushing out like that. You're just, arms are hanging, but they also have that slightly rounded shape. And what that does is that opens up your shoulder joints. So we're really opening up the nine channel pearl of uh, you know, all the, the joints and allowing the energy to move through without um, any kind of kink there. So just feel into that. Now sink into your heels and maintain your central equilibrium. So you want to feel into that. Now sink into the balls of your feet. We're activating the young energy and reach with your wrist. So do this very slowly and bring your awareness to all that's going on in your body. 
Feel the weight of the balls of your feet. Feel your central equilibrium. Feel that, that verticality, but also your kind of right at that tipping point there, that precarious kind of place there, like they're getting ready to dive off a diving board. You're reaching with the wrist, the fingers are sort of hanging out. Feel those fingernails. Now reach with the fingers, open the shoulders, open the, open the arms, feel the space between your shoulder blades. So if you're extending from your spine, opening between the shoulder blades, you know, going along the shoulders, reaching with the elbows, reaching with the wrists, reaching with the fingers, everything is kind of expanding. Really just feel into that expansion there. Feel those fingertips as if you're, you're grabbing something with the fingertips. Now sink into your heels, but still maintain that central equilibrium. Reach down with your elbows, down with your wrists. Allow yourself to sink into the yin. The energy is going down and in, going down through your feet and into the ground. You're relaxing into your structure. So the balls of your feet. Into the wrists. Relax your fingers, relax your shoulders, reach with your elbows, open, reach with the fingers now, open between your shoulder blades. And very consciously, very deliberately rotate your forearm. Those palms are facing upward. Feel those fingernails. Bring your hands up as if you're turning a, a knob in your Rotate and rotate the other way. Feel that rotation. Now reach out with your hands and same rotation, only this time with your fingers extended. Good. Now bend your from your elbows, reaching, so your hands are going up at about a 45 degree angle. And rotate. Slow it way down. Inhale as you open. 
Exhale as you close. Good. Now stick into your heels. Reach down with your elbows, your wrists. And feel the energy sinking down through your feet. Allowing that to disappear. Oh, that young cheetah just kind of dump out through your feet and into the earth. This is a really important skill to have, particularly as you develop your negong, your practice of developing your internal energy and your internal state. The ability to empty out. Because as you continue this, you get more and more, and having too much chi can be a bit of a bother. So you want to be able to control it, find what's the exact right amount of energy, and what kind of energy do I want at a particular moment. You're learning to regulate your chi. Sometimes you want a lot of yang chi. You want that excitement. You want that expansion. Sometimes you want, ah, you want to settle back and relax. And move into emptiness. Into the ball of your feet, and we're going to activate the yang again. Reach with the wrist. Open, extend, open between the shoulder blades, reach with the elbows. Now sink into your heels, reach down. With your elbows, hands come down. Take into the balls of your feet as your hands come up. They gather. The dantian to come up to the fire center at the heart. And ah, reaching out, opening, and then into the heels. Down, sink, yin, gather, bring the water chi up, up to the heart, up to the heart center, then beats of the fire and ah, reaches out. So you're taking the fire and ah, sink into your heels, you're bringing it down. So it goes under the water. This acts like, um, traditionally, they, they visualize like a cauldron. The fire comes underneath the water and it boils the water. Bringing it up to the heart, into the balls of your feet. Yang, 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 reach, 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 yang. Heels, yin, yin. Feel that the calming of the water chief. Feel the heat under the water gathering, coming up into the balls of the feet. Back 
the hand open, heels, and ah, oh, sinking down. Put your hands over your navel. And allow the the chi to enter in through the navel and into the dantian. Allow that energy to do whatever it needs to do to restore optimum health and well being in your body mind. Let go. Hold your feet, reach with your wrists. Now we're going to reach out with one hand, turn, and reach out with the other hand. Okay, so, so what we're going to do now, adding in some of our re recent stuff, is uh, you want to feel those fingernails as you're doing it. So you're reaching in, but even as you're Pulling back, it's not a, it's your pulling back with your fingernails, your claws, your dragon claws as you reach out. So you're turning, you're reaching out. And you're wagging your tail. So you got that big dragon tail and you're, we're going to wag that. I'm going to turn around so you can follow me from behind, but I want you to see what my hands are doing. They're kind of reaching out as I'm turning. The other thing you want to do is you, as you, as you reach out, you're reaching your head to the side. So what that's doing is it's opening up the meridians in your, in your arms and in your chest and neck as you do that. And you're going like this and you're wagging your tail and reaching with your head as you do that. Okay? So let's, uh, the so feet stay um, then you just widen your stance a little bit so it's a little wider than the hip width, and go to the balls of your feet, reach up with your wrists, reach with your fingers open between your shoulder blades, reach the iliac spine, your, your scapula, your shoulders, elbows. Wrist. Now, I want you to also feel your tail. You want to wag your tail as you do this. So, as you turn, as you reach out with your right hand, your head goes to the left, your tail goes to the right. You're reaching out, you're pulling back with your left hand as you reach out with your right hand. So, feel those claws as you're doing that. And you stick at your right leg and you reach your head to the right. Bend your left arm, pull back with the claws on your right hand. Wag that tail. So there's a lot going on here, and you don't have to think about everything. Just bring your awareness to it. Say, oh yeah, tail. Feel that. Oh yeah. Fingers. With my head. 
Wag that tail, do it nice and slow. Feel. The key to all this is feeling. It's okay to remind yourself to add in this piece or that as you're learning this. Like that tail, do it nice. It's a super slow motion now. You're wagging the tail, reaching. This time you get a chance to feel into all the different parts. Reach with your head, open the neck. Feel the hands, feel the tail, feel your feet, feel your quaff. Super slow. Really feel into that. Open. Reach. Think. And bring your hands even in front of you. Reaching out, opening between the shoulders. And feel into those movements without moving. Feel in the potentiality of those movements. Now you can activate those movements in a fraction of a second or not. The potentiality is there. But it exists as that. No form, pure potential. Take in your heels, reach down with your elbows. Your wrists. Feel the fullness of the chi in your body. Even though we're in the heels and we're in the yin position, we're full of the yin chi. Think of your right foot, wag your tail, step in. In your heels. Deep breath. Gather open, expansive, young. Exhale and throw away the chin. In your heels, empty out. Feel into the emptiness. Please have a seat.
Rick, when we were rotating the hands, it was just great the way the energy's consistency would change depending on what we were doing. Sometimes when I started, it felt like water balloons, and then it became liquid metal, and then it would become rubber. It was, I could, I, I, I had to stop thinking about what it felt like and just appreciate it. Uh, but every single change brought on a new dimension. Wonderful. That, that's that's uh, poetically stated. Thank you. Beautiful. That's such a powerful, so simple yet so powerful. Everybody else? Everybody stop. Really hot. <laughs> I was thinking, and we're going to do this in Sedona? <laughs> <laughs> it cranked up. It cranks up the heat a little bit, yeah. A little bit. A little bit, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a lot of bang for the buck. Cool. Uh, yeah. So the thing that um, you know I've been really working on and noticing is that you know my whole lower back and and that whole area is is I'm tightening it up to protect my knees, and I'm mm -hmm. trying to work on that. So you know, and I realize that like at work, I'm when I'm standing, I'm tightened up for no reason just because my. So I've been working on that, and this is. You know, this really has helped with that. This really helped with that. You know, by the time we got about halfway through this, everything was working as as one chi. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Good. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. That, that that's excellent. It's uh, it takes depending on how deep those patterns are embedded. You know, it uh, it takes. Some time to thaw it out, you know, and uh, but uh, it, each time we do, you know, we get it, it reminds your body mind that it is possible, it is possible to break habits and to be able to establish new patterns that are more fun and helpful, and helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, the uh, the idea of, of being able to throw the how how are you doing at throwing it away that uh, the the yin part of the uh, of the exercise how's that how's that going? You, it, you've been having us a, a longer to, a longer to figure figure that one out than to crank it up. You know? Yeah, you've been you've been we've been working on that one for a long time, and it's it's a slow. I notice a little bit more each time but you know i mean i don't ever feel really empty i think i feel more yin you know i would say probably more yin chi but mm -hmm. i find that um yes and i'm much better at getting into the heel uh, than i was in the beginning when it was just sacrilege <laughs> Uh, and well, I you find that, you know I'm letting go I'm letting go and letting go and letting go but there is um, I don't know how to it's almost and this isn't quite the right description it's like a balloon you know feeling the tension of the outer edges of the balloon and inside just empty space mm -hmm. Um. So that's that's and I don't know if that's empty, but that's <laughs> that's the best description that I can give it. I like it. I like it. I think that that's actually a pretty good one there. Yeah. So. Well, well, for me, it's a circus act because you know we just had this amazing uh, 
dance with the with the universe. And at the end, it's kind of like, now we're going to let you all go. What well, you've had this wonderful three green circus. Now you got to <laughs> Now you got to go home. Now you got to. <laughs> And you don't want to go kids, home, but you can't stay here. That's right. <laughs> and all the kids go, I don't, don't want to go home, especially said, oh, now you introduced us to yin. <laughs> so what I try to do at the end is create a balance because, you know, it's a perfect ending for me, you know, to go yang to yin, yang to yin, yang to yin, and then spin the tail, move the tail, and then go into the shen and the emptiness until I feel nothing aching, until it's just like filled with empty health. Mm. And once yeah. I get that, then I can go. And mm. then I might, if it's particularly good, I'll also throw in two kisses. <laughs> <laughs> and get on with my day. Yeah. Uh, and I, already, I did the hug earlier. The hug is earlier. <laughs> Oh, great. Don't, don't forget, after the, after the circus, somebody has to clean, sweep up the peanut shells. <laughs> and the elephant poop. <laughs> it's a family uh, show. Karen. You want to say that. <laughs> Karen. Um, I continue to always appreciate how I feel after we've done the exercise. Um, that that it's always the most meaningful to me when I stop and just feel how my whole being is at that mm -hmm. moment. And I, you know, right now I, I've got a vibration in my heels. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like the earth is a magnet, but there's other things going on that are alive. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, I think, I think it brings me balance. Nice. That's Beautiful. that's what Tai Chi means. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Maria. Bon Thank you, Maria. Thanks, Happy Maria. No, no, no class next week. Uh, see you in two. <laughs>